Fox Sean Cunningham, uh, Fox 40. Just wh where did you see this one kind of go wrong tonight for you guys? Uh, I think just um, we got a lot of turnovers tonight. I had a lot of turnovers. Uh, it just got to be better in the second half, this period. Um, fourth quarter, I just got to, be, got to play better. You see, uh, obviously, your injury uh, didn't look to be much of a problem from the way I saw it. How about uh, for you when you, you played through it? Uh, I was fine. Yeah, Fox, we're so used to you taking over in the fourth. What was it that you saw that just made life so difficult? Uh, obviously, you know, playing the team multiple times, they make adjustments. Uh, I think at times I had good looks that just didn't go in. But, um, I mean, I think they played a good game. Defensively, they were, you know, got their hands on uh, a lot of balls, a lot of deflections, block shots. Um, I think they did a good job in the, in the second half defensively. In the first quarter, you guys – got Keegan Murray loose uh, via 10 points. He was all over the place. And then it just kind of stopped. Was there something you guys need to do to get him open, or is it just the way, the flow of the game? Um, I mean, I think it was the flow of the game, but at, but at the same time, um, we have to get him more shots. I mean, you know, he's one of the better shooters in the league. And um, I think he only took one shot after the first quarter. So uh, yeah, for us, we have to help him get open. Dear not. Brendan Nunez, Kings Herald, 60 points in the paint for the Warriors. Um, obviously a good three-point shooting team, and maybe on chair you'd rather have them shooting twos, but what do you see that led to them being so efficient on those shots? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we took away a lot of threes. I mean, they made some tough ones, but um, as a team, you know, some with, with a team that's been together for so long, uh, with Draymond and Steph, Clay, and, um, and Kavon, I mean, they've mastered, you know, coming off the screen, hitting the roller, and then playing two on one on the back end. So, um, you know, as we're trying to take away the three, we we'll also have to be able to take away some of the rim, rim attempts. De'Aaron, back here. Knowing that you guys are one shot away in game four for stealing that game on the road, how much confidence do you guys have heading into game six, knowing that you could possibly do the same thing? Oh, I mean, we still feel good. I mean, like you said, we, we had a good first quarter. Um, second quarter, <laughs> we didn't make anything. Um, I mean, just as a team, obviously you want to shoot better, but this being a make or miss league, sometimes it just doesn't go that way. But um, the second half, we just, we, I, I have to play better personally. And um, just a few, you know, mistakes, they, they capitalize on every single mistake that you make. So uh, just trying to limit those and, you know, uh, we'll put ourselves in a better position to win the game. Fox, you, you mentioned the deflections uh, that the Warriors got. It seems like they're swiping and grabbing at the ball every time anybody gets around the paint. Is it just, doing a better job taking care of the basketball or, or spraying like Mike Brown says, how do you counter what the Warriors are doing just grabbing at the ball? Yeah, I mean, it's either be strong and, you know, try to finish or uh, when you get into the paint, it's about spray. So, um, but like I said, I mean, I think they did a, I think they did a great job, of, you know, being a pass the lanes and uh, even when we're trying to pass, just getting their hand on the ball. So, like I said, they uh, they played a good, a good game defensively, especially in the second half. Aaron Kirsten with Fox 40 Sports. Davion mentioned that he felt like there was a desperation in the locker room after this loss. Do you feel that same sentiment, or how do you feel like the team is is feeling right now in this moment? Yeah, I mean, we know our backs against the wall, and we know that you know going there is a tough place to win. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, you're you're, you're taking it one game at a time, uh, and we're just trying to prepare, try to match, try to bring the physicality from the first uh, from from the tip, and you go out there and you try to win a game. One one loss and your season's over. But like I said, we're we're thinking about it one game at a time. Uh, Darren, did uh, did the finger give you any more or less trouble as as the game went on? Uh, no, I was I was fine. I mean, uh, like I said, uh, you're gonna get you know it's gonna get hit, but I'm all right. Darren, you know, just want to get your thoughts about uh, Draymond. I think uh, at 21 points, he had to score 21 points, I believe, in the last five years. I think that's. I think that's what they said. Just want to get your thoughts. He was really aggressive tonight. Yeah, I mean, like I said, um, the way they play, they've mastered, you know, playing two on one on the back end. When you got guys like Steph and Clay coming off of uh, of handoffs and ball screens, so um, I mean, he attacked the rim, he finished, uh, he got to the free throw line, he hit a three, um, and then he did all the other things that he does. But like I said, they they played a good game, and he played a hell of a game. Obviously, uh, offensively, that's not what he normally does, but. He played, a, he played a great game tonight. Yeah, and I know uh, Steph had 30 tonight, but how do you assess just the work that, that Davion Mitchell has done uh, on Steph over the course of the series? 
Yeah, I mean, he was making them work. Uh, I mean, he was two for ten. I mean, we, like I said, we did a good job um, as a team guarding the three. He did a good job individually on Steph, but I mean, he's still one of the better finishers in the league, and um, you just want to make it difficult for him. Uh, that's not, I mean, him being a great player, you know, you're not going to shut down a great player. You just want to make it as tough as possible and um, try to make others beat you. But uh, like I said, they, they had a good game. Um, and even when Steph's not, doesn't have it going from the three, I mean, he, he affects the game in other ways, and he still has a variety of ways to score the ball. All right, Darren, Mike Robertson, Sports Radio Service. How frustrating is it that this team has been bad on the road and they just took a home court advantage from you guys in, in this uh, game right here, and you guys have to go now down to San Francisco and seize the uh, moment? I mean, experienced team, obviously. Um, they got it done on the defensive end tonight. Uh, they were, I think they were better than us tonight. And like I said, I have, I have to be better um, in the second half. So, I mean, their, their road, road woes or whatever you want to call it, they, they did it on the defensive end. Have a good guy.